Okay, next step with this coffee table. So I've taken apart my third plank and uh, that's it right there. Turned out pretty nice. Probably the best of the lot as far as being flat. And I've sort of bumped it up to uh, all the other ones. So now I have this great big square piece of wood. So the next step will be to join these three big planks together into one piece. There they are right there. Now the, the joints between them aren't perfect, but they're pretty good. And I'm gonna leave them the way they are uh, because that's part of maybe the, the rustic design of, of putting together a brickwork type of a uh, board like this. And there is a process where, you know, I'll be filling them up with some uh, sawdust and, and uh, ferrothane so that they will become filled, but still a part of the overall design. So um, when I do a board like this, when it's, you know, this is about a, a foot wide, I can glue this together and it is like super strong. This is a super strong board now. Very pleased with it. But... If I put three of these together and the length gets to be three feet, will it be as strong? That's the question with just glue holding it together on those two seams. Uh, now, it's not going to need to be super strong because it's going to be a coffee table with all the support underneath it. But I would like it to be fairly strong. God forbid someone stand on the top of it or something like that and use it as a trampoline. So there's a process that I'm going to use besides just glue to make these joints stronger. And uh, it's called using a biscuit joiner. So what that is, is um, you can see uh, along this joint, I've marked several spots here with a pencil mark on either side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tool to cut a, a um, a hole in between them and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what's called a biscuit and put it in between like that so in addition to the glue that will be holding the seam here halfway through the board there will be this biscuit that will actually be glued between this board and that board and I think you can see I'm going to put in probably about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine biscuits in this board in order to reinforce this seam. Okay, so that's the process. So what's a biscuit joiner? Well, let me just turn this around. I'm going to turn it around. There you see the biscuit joiner right there. Okay. So this right here is a biscuit joiner okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take this this machine and there's its cutting blade right there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take this biscuit joiner and we're going to line it up with one of our pencil markings i'm going to start it up push it in and it's going to create a gouge in the wood that that biscuit is going to go in. So bear with me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the phone down for a second and um, hopefully you'll be able to see it. And I'll do one of the, one of the, um, the biscuits and um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Let's see if I put that down there. So are you, uh, I think you might be able to process, okay? So bear with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clamp, clamp this wood in place so it doesn't move. And you set, in this particular case, I'm going to set the gauge to 20 because the biscuits that I have are size 20. Uh, you can get bigger biscuits or smaller biscuits. So I'm going to use these size 20s because they're the biggest I have. So we're going to put the biscuit here, the, the joiner here. I'm going to line up my mark with my pencil. I'll push it up there and hold it. 
all it took okay and what this thing does is it creates a hole in your wood okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the biscuit it's going to go in there it's a little tight but it's going to go in there like that okay I could tap it in a little bit so I'm going to have a series of these glued into here I will have a corresponding hole over here and then when we push them together this biscuit will be glued to the wood there'll be all sorts of wood on the seam here and that corresponding hole will be glued and then we're going to take clamps and push them all together and those biscuits glued in place are going to create an extra bond between the planks so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut all my other holes on this side of the board. Then I will cut all the other corresponding holes on that side of the board. I'll flip them around, line them all up, glue it all up, and put a bunch of clamps to it and see how it looks. Okay, so that'll be the process for uh, reinforcing the seams between this big board. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on this seam over here then hopefully we're going to get a really strong um, big board out of this whole thing and then uh, create a circle and cut it out those are the next steps thanks for watching